Hi guys and welcome back! This video is going to be on the laminar effect or laminar flow. This is something that blew up on TikTok a couple of days ago and you might have seen videos of people sticking a knife through balloons and then water comes out but the water looks like it's completely frozen. I thought this was one of the coolest things I've ever seen, so I have to make a video testing it out. So based on what I've seen on TikTok, this experiment looks kind of easy to do. All you need are balloons and some duct tape. I'm going to be using normal balloons here and not the smaller water balloons. This is because you want them to hold as much liquid as possible. And if you have the space, then you can actually use extra large party balloons. I started filling the first balloon with water, and then I realized that the weight caused it to stretch downwards. So be sure to support your balloon with your hand or a bowl, which lets you get a lot more water inside. Here's a comparison of the two, with and without support. I've also seen people do this experiment using colored water, so I'm going to try that as well. Pinch the bottom part of a balloon open and squeeze one drop of food coloring so it falls directly inside. You want to avoid getting food coloring anywhere near the top because this is going to get pretty messy when you're filling it up with water. And needless to say, popping balloons filled with liquid is pretty risky, so make sure everything around you is waterproof or simply do this experiment outdoors. Next, I have some confetti balloons. These are transparent balloons filled with colorful tissue paper, and I wanted to try this just for the aesthetics. I like how you can see the confetti swirling around in water when you're filling this up. The ink actually started to dissolve, so I've accidentally created another one filled with colored liquid. A useful tip is to run your tap very slowly when filling up your balloon. This takes a bit longer, but it really helps to reduce the water splashing when you take it off. And here's a quick and easy way to tie your balloons. First, pull the end across two fingers like this. Then twist it around once and push the end of the balloon between your index and middle finger. I find that this method works great even if the balloon is slippery with water. And now for the taping part. I've seen people do this using duct tape, packing tape or cello tape. I think the general idea is that the tape needs to be strong enough to put some tension onto the rubber. So washi tape isn't going to work, but any other type of tape should be okay. I'm also experimenting with different thicknesses to see if that makes a difference. As it turns out, the taping technique is actually very critical in getting this optical illusion to work, so be sure to watch until the very end to find out my perfect method. So there's an electrical outlet quite close to the sink, and I'm going to tape this shut just to be safe. If you're doing this in a kitchen, then be sure to move all electrical appliances like toasters out of the way. And now for the moment of truth. This isn't turning out to be quite what I expected, because I honestly thought that at least one of these balloons is going to work. So I went away to do some more research. Laminar flow is when water flows perfectly smoothly. It's actually moving, but to the naked eye, it appears completely still. 
The opposite of this is turbulent flow, which starts to happen when gravity or other factors disrupt the water. So when you're looking at it, you can tell it's moving. What's interesting is that laminar flow is actually not that rare. It happens when water is pushed out of a small opening with a bit of force, but we rarely notice this in everyday life. Even water coming out of a tap is usually laminar in the beginning, however this turns turbulent after a while. The balloon trick is simply designed to replicate this effect in a setting that's easy to observe. A thing I noticed in my failed attempts was that even when the water came out really quickly, it still looked laminar for a few seconds. So I suspect the only purpose of the tape is to slow down the flow of water to give you enough time to film what's happening. I found a YouTube video that recommended using a bowl and a craft knife. The bowl is useful because you can use it to move the balloon quickly, just in case the water spurts out too fast. To my surprise, this attempt actually worked. Even though the water jet is very thin, I can definitely see the laminar flow. This made me realize that those viral clips on TikTok are so successful because they're actually showing an optical illusion. The water only looks frozen in the first part of the arc, but if you zoom out, then you can clearly see it's still flowing. The balloon is also getting smaller, and you can tell that from the shrinkage around the duct tape. This is honestly not that exciting if you're standing next to the balloon because you can see there's water coming out of it. However, if it's filmed at exactly the right angle, then it looks a lot more impressive. Another key factor is that you can mute the sound on TikTok, so nobody hears water splashing in the sink. After loads of trial and error, I finally came up with a fairly foolproof method for making laminar balloons. When taping this hashtag shape, try to make the central area as small as possible. It should only be about 5 or maximum 10 millimeters wide. This will put a limit on the size of the hole, which slows down the flow of water, giving you enough time to film. And instead of a kitchen or craft knife, use a pin or needle to pop the balloon. As you saw from my first few attempts, knives make larger cuts, so the water tends to come out too quickly. And when you're filming this for social media, be sure to only show the first part of the water stream where the laminar effect is most obvious. And lastly, make sure that you can't hear water splashing in the sink and that people can't tell the balloon is getting smaller. Another thing that helps a lot is to use a very large balloon. This means that even if the water jet is pretty big, it'll still take a while for everything to flow out. I think this is the trick that many of those viral videos use because if you look closely, they have humongous balloons. So regardless of the size of the hole, there's plenty of time to film the laminar effect. As you can see here, I'm just squeezing the remaining water out of this balloon and you can still see the laminar effect going. This is not a rare phenomenon, but we tend to overlook it in everyday life. TikTok provided the perfect format for this illusion to go viral because you only show a few seconds of a cleverly cropped clip. I found this experiment very fun to do, so good luck if you plan to recreate it. Please note that this method isn't 100% foolproof, so make sure you have a few backup balloons. 
However, it should work a lot better than just randomly taping a hashtag onto a balloon and then poking it open like I did in the very beginning. I hope you enjoyed this video and be sure to follow me on TikTok as well. I'm Joanna and I'll see you soon. Bye!